Hi friends, today we will talk about the derivation of the initial velocity equation for a typical competitive inhibitor. We have earlier seen the various types of inhibitors. To just give a brief overview of a typical competitive inhibitor, I will mention only few characteristic features like we know that a competitive inhibitor mimics the structure of the substrate. So a competitive inhibitor looks similar to the substrate of a particular enzyme whose reaction it inhibits. So therefore, the inhibitor binds at the active site of the enzyme. So enzyme at a time can bind either the substrate or the inhibitor. So if the substrate is bound, inhibitor is not bound. And if the inhibitor has once bound the enzyme, it does not bind the substrate. So you either encounter a ES or a EI complex. You will never encounter a ESI complex. So competitive inhibitor, it binds only to the free enzyme. Another feature of this particular inhibitor is that, that it affects the value of Km but apparently has no effect on the value of the Vmax of the enzyme catalyzed reaction in its presence. I repeat, a typical competitive inhibitor will cause an increase in the value of the Km of a typical enzyme catalyzed reaction. So the value of Km it increases by a factor of 1 plus I upon Ki. Whereas the value of Vmax, it remains unchanged in the presence of a typical competitive inhibitor. So we know that E plus S gives ES, which further gives E plus P. In a typical enzyme catalyzed reaction, which is not inhibited by any inhibitor. In presence of a competitive inhibitor, which will bind only the free enzyme, your E plus I will give you EI, which is a dead end complex now. So when you deal with this particular equation in a kinetic form, we arrive at a final equation of initial velocity that is V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km into 1 plus I upon Ki plus S. So let us have a detailed look towards this derivation of a typical competitive inhibitor. So the general equation for a typical competitive inhibition is represented as So Ki is the dissociation constant for Ei. So therefore, from the definition of Ki, Ki is equal to E into I upon Ei. From this, you can calculate the value of Ei. So we have Ei is equal to E into I upon Ki. Now we know that the rate of formation of ES is equal to K1 into E into S. The rate of breakdown of ES is given by K-1 into ES plus K2 into ES as ES can be broken down either into E and S or E plus P. So taking ES common, we have the rate of breakdown as K-1 plus K2 whole bracket into ES. But at the steady state, we know that the rate of formation of ES and the rate of its breakdown, they are equal. So from this, we have K1 into E into S is equal to K-1 plus K2 into ES. Taking the constants to one side, we have E into S upon ES is equal to K-1 plus K2 upon K1. This defines Km. So Km is equal to E into S upon ES. Considering the total enzyme, now here the total enzyme represented as E0 which is given by the sum of the free enzyme E, enzyme bound to the substrate ES and that bound to the inhibitor that is EI. So E0 is equal to E plus ES plus EI. Now substituting the value of EI which we calculated earlier, we have E0 is equal to E plus ES plus E into I upon Ki. Now taking E common in these two terms, we have E0 equal to E into bracket 1 plus I upon Ki bracket complete plus ES. From this, you can calculate the value of the free enzyme E, which is given by E is equal to E0 minus ES upon 1 plus I upon Ki. Substituting this value of E in the equation for Km, we have E0 in minus ES whole bracket into S upon 1 plus i upon k in bracket multiplied by es which is equal to km. Cross multiplying and opening the bracket we have e0 into s minus es plus s is equal to km into 1 plus i upon ki into es. Now taking this 
negative term of ES to that side, to the right hand side we have E0 into S is equal to Km into 1 plus I upon Ki into ES plus ES into S. So E0 into S is equal to taking ES common from the first and the last term from these two terms we have ES into bracket Km into 1 plus I upon Ki plus S. From this you can deduce the value of ES which is given as ES is equal to E0 into S upon Km into 1 plus I upon Ki plus S. Now we know that the initial rate of the reaction that is V0 is dependent on the concentration of ES and the constant that is K2. So V0 is equal to K2 into ES. In this we can substitute the above value of ES with which we have V0 is equal to K2 into E0 into S whole upon Km into 1 plus I upon Ki plus S. We know that when the total enzyme is involved in the enzyme catalyzed reaction that is E0 and is multiplied by K2 we get the value of Vmax. So we know that Vmax is equal to K2 into E0. So the equation now substituting this becomes V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km into 1 plus I upon Ki plus S. From this it is evident and if you compare this with a general michaelis menten equation for a non-inhibited reaction which is V0 is equal to Vmax into S upon Km plus S, we come to know that there is a change only in the value of Km. Km has increased by the term 1 plus I upon Ki. So there is a change in the Km but there is no change in the Vmax. This can also be evident from the following graphs. This shows the normal michaelis menten graph whereas this shows the line weaver and Burke plot in the presence and absence of a typical competitive inhibitor. So it is clear that in the presence of a competitive inhibitor the value of Km it increases as the affinity of the enzyme towards the substrate it decreases and the value of Vmax remains unaltered. Thank you.